Welcome to Victorian England of 1888. We're all in black and white. Yes, colour hadn't been invented yet. Must have been strange living in black and white. I know, very difficult. Welcome to Steampunk Tuesday. <laughs> I'm Ian. And this is Mike. I have a fantastic project to share with you today. Not just one. Not one, not two, but three. Mm. And last week, you well, a lot of you got it right. What links a very large dog and a Victorian, Victorian coroner's report? And no, it's not a high-class party. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now then? I think, further ado, we shall go overhead and I will show you the project. Before we start, can you turn the colour back on, please? We're not staying in black and white. No, I don't think so. It doesn't show how good they are. Thanks, Bentley. <laughs> okay then, are you ready? And we're back. <laughs> in colour. Welcome to colour. <laughs> colour television. <laughs> We don't want the neighbours thinking we can't afford Ford, colour. That's right. Today, I have got some journals to show you. Obviously. And I <laughs> am so, so, so super excited because Sherlock Holmes and Murder Mysteries are my one of my favourite genres. I, I would say top, actually. Yeah. Before, even before anything else. Even before steampunk. Even before steampunk. Yeah. yeah murder mystery and that kind of stuff has always been your one of your biggest um, pleasures. I have read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them mm. so, from agatha christie to sherlock holmes to oh i've read modern ones i've read all sorts but yeah. i like period best. you do like period ones best yes so i must admit this watching you make these three journals I've, I've, it's been really it's been fun for me to watch you creating these because you've had so much fun doing these. they are so complex absolutely so much fun doing these and i know you've had fun because you've not been able to wait to show me what you've done. I keep wondering in my little bits going, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Which is great because, and I think these are absolutely superb. And I think your colour choices for these are also spot on as well. I couldn't have done it better myself. Thank you. They all follow a similar format. Mm -hmm. So I will show you through the red one. There are little slight differences in them. Like I'll, I'll show you as we go along. Yeah, but only minor differences. Only minor differences. Yeah. So I'll put the... Well, do you want to just go through the colours first of all? Okay, so we, so we have the chocolate one. Not real chocolate, obviously. So dark chocolate brown. And this one has the... Um, like a marble. Marble paper there. Mm -hmm. We also have... Actually taken from a book of the period. It is, yeah. Well, so yeah. it is a book from that period. Okay. We've got my personal favourite. The tan. The tan. Which has the blue... Yeah. And then the marble. Mm hmm And then my particular favourite... This is my second. ...is <laughs> the red one. The dispatch box dispatch red. Box red diplomatic we red, we called it, didn't we? Yeah. And that also has the... Um, marble. Marble effect. Yeah, you, know, so, you can't remember that no, word today, can't, can no, you? No, I can't. So, they, they, they are A5 in size. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to get a ruler to show people? Yes. The size I think of people them. have seen a ruler before. Oh, he says. Ow. <laughs> okay, so the in millimetres they are... In old money. Old money. They are 160 wide <laughs> by 210 two two ten ten high. They're actually... They're actually um, Oversized there for S22. Yeah, 22. So it's yes. 220 from top to bottom. Yeah. But you can you can see. So in inches they are six and a half yeah. by whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Eight so bit. yeah. <laughs> so we have my all before we start, everything in the book has been created by myself. Yes. Um each bit of ephemera you go through as we see is taken a long time. Every tag, every pocket, every journaling card, every page in the yeah. journal mm. has all been designed by you. It has. So we have the fronts, which has the greatest detective in there. Mm -hmm. The beautiful gold corners, before you go off yeah. on that. Case reference note on the side, you have the lovely gold corners. Yeah. So antique brass book plate, so the gold corners. Okay, so, see how thick they are? Yep. They measure, thick, they are about... <laughs> just over two inches. Two, two and a half inches thick. Mm, each journal. So... Do you want to just talk about the frame? Yeah, sorry, the frame is um, a laser cut which has been... It's wood. It's wood, yes. It's been painted with copper paint and then I've put glossy accents all over it to give... There you go, there's a real the shine. shine. It looks like, like almost the metallic. Shine. There you go, it looks beautiful. And it's a vintage paper as well in the mm. middle. Okay, you ready? One then. 
Could take a while because there's no hardly any repeats in this book. Are you going anywhere? Not really. Do you have to be somewhere. Okay, so inside front we have the murder mystery pocket with the Sherlock Holmes paper. Mm -hmm. And those of you last week who guessed it was Sherlock Holmes with the large dog and the and coroner's the, report. Most people got the hand of the basket. They did. Course, yes. So we have the, this has all been designed by myself. Um, this is uh, the Whitechapel Coroner's Office. The coroner's name is Sir Nigel Davenport Smithson. Which obviously you can use this for journaling on. And, and on the back. Yep. It's all been distressed so it looks like it's been there forever. Every single piece of ephemera that's in here can be journaled on, either on the front can, or on the back. It can. See so that one, to journal on the back of there. It's a great old map of London. It took me ages to find that for you. It did. Thank you very much, Mike. Okay, so, and we'll make a start. So we have the inner is the matches the inside front. Mm -hmm. We have the case notes with the four blood, blood splatter. splattered Dried on. blood. Sherlock and Dr Watson on the corner. Yes. Illustrations taken from the original Strand magazine. They are indeed, yep. Yeah. The coroner's report there, places to write. Mm -hmm. Loads of places to write. Our first pocket, which is the murder mystery one with the uh, pocket watch. Yep. The adventure of the Musgrave ritual. These are all real stories. So those, these are the, based on the titles of the the Sherlock Holmes books. They are indeed. Obviously written by Sir Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle. Doyle. So, journaling, well, journaling card, would you call it? Yep, on the it? back. Of course, you can journal on the page. The game is afoot. I thought it was quite sweet. With the footprints. And the magnifying glass. All being dried in the oven, so they're all... Yes, and every page is parchment paper. It is. Not... It, there's no copy of paper in here whatsoever. Everything is parchment paper. The yes. finest quality for our girls and boys. Yes. Only the best for our girls and boys. So the game is afoot there. We also have the opening paragraph of Hand of the Baskervilles. Okay, there. so that's in the background on that. Yeah. Again, Same all again, featuring yeah. illustrations from the original the Strand magazine. Strand magazine. We have a witness, back in the day. Back in the day. A witness report. Right, now we have, we have, of course, we've got a murder, we've got to have suspects. Yes. So the first one of our suspects is a gentleman called Professor Plum. <laughs> a little bit of a crossover. <laughs> yes, and he was born on the 26th of January 1839 and lives in Carstairs Road, Islington. And again, you can journal on, on the, the back. backs. Great for recording people's birthdays or telephone yep. numbers or little details yep. about people. And you see with elementary, my dear Watson, a splatter of the ink. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favourites, yeah. the Dear Stalker and the Magnifying Glass. Because you can write or draw on there. Right. And this, is, this is a picture of Holmes and Watson in the carriage the on the way carriage. to Baskerville Hall. On the way to Baskerville Hall, yeah. Yeah. So then we have the same again there. Mm -hmm. We have the murder weapons here. There's some old photographs which I've created of daggers and poison bottles, etc. Because you can fill this out, the case date, you could put your birthday date on there. Or whatever date you're actually writing, like yeah. a diary page if you wanted to. Is it a one or a two pipe problem, which is what Sherlock used to say regularly to Dr Watson. Yes, a one or two pipe problem. Then we have the jury statements here, but we have no matter how small a clue is a clue. And we have a location map um, tag here, which you can write all your little bits on the front. And journaling on the back and again. journaling on the back. I so say every, everything is different as we go through. I love these pockets. Double jury statement page there. So these, sorry, these pockets are the um, four inch by four inch ones. Envelopes. These are the wage packet envelopes, they are, aren't they? You're yeah. on your website. I do People have them on the website, there. yes. So we have the jury statement. Mm -hmm. So again, another illustration featuring, I wonder if that's Irene Adler. It could be. Yeah, it could be. Then we have, of course, we've got to have weapons. So we have little pockets that says maps and information. Because Scotland Yard are very under understaffed, mm. the boys put them back in the wrong pockets. <laughs> so you know, so it's, it's a little bit of fun there. So we have the weapon type. It's a revolver, ten inches long, and it was found on Twenty Two Enid Street. Again, another the journal in place for you to mm. write on. I love these little cards. One or two pack problem again. Murder weapons. Because it does. It repeats it does, as it comes it to the mirror. It misses. No. But all the cards are different. Yes, all the ephemera is different. Yeah, it is. So, here we are. So, we've also got evidence. So, you've got to have evidence. Yes. That's right. So, this is, it says weapon on it, but the boys have got it mixed up as usual. On this one, we have a blood sample. Look. Glossy accents. Just, I, I love your attention to detail on these. This was found on the murder weapon, apparently. <laughs> and then we have the witness statement again. As we're coming back through, but as you say, they, they repeat themselves as you go back through the book, but the pockets don't repeat. Yeah. 
Then we have the Corridors, we have The Adventure of the Sussex Vampire. Another one of the famous books. Yeah. I love these footprints. I do as well. Cool. The illustrations are stunning for this. And what I like about what you've done with this journal, it's the, the colour tones that you've added into it. These, this dark blue. Yeah. Fantastic dark and I've blue. I've called and it then, Metropolitan Police Blue. Yeah, so you've got dark blue and, and dark reds, which is throughout. Yes. And, and I think it just, it, it goes really, really well with oh, what it you've does. done. So in this one we have the Collins Report again, but we have the murder mystery and we have the adventure of the Mazarin Stone, or the Margarine Stone. I call it Mazipan Stone. Mazipan Stone, yeah. <laughs> again to write on the back. As we keep going through, you'll see, I mean the paper sounds great. It's great. Of course, next suspect has to be Mrs White. Yes. Born in 1848 in Lisbon Road, East Ealing Broadway. Again, another journaling spot on there. There are so many spots, I think there are... There are five murder suspects, five murder weapons, and five bits of evidence. Mm. Plus all the other cards. Yep, my favourite bit of evidence is to come yet. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> time me. to think, time to concentrate. And we have a map with a journaling area on the back. Again, it's one of these ones where there's lots and lots of room oh, to you write, can write the, and draw. And... Yeah, even though you've got pockets in there, yeah. there's still lots of space to oh, yeah. use it as a proper oh, yeah. notebook or journal, yeah. isn't there? Weapon type again, we have the, the fire poker. poker. Mm -hmm. that, was fa fa that was found on East Park Driveway. Or drive rather. We have the pages again. But we now have evidence. <laughs> this is your favourite evidence. It is. And this is just classic. This is um, soil. <laughs> but psst, don't tell anybody it's not real soil. It's actually tea from a tea bag. <laughs> Actually, tea leaves. Tea leaves, and it's all encapsulated, encapsulated inside, so it's not going to come off on you. Well, it's glued on first, yeah, and, and then, then encapsulated. encapsulated, so it won't come off. Don't worry. This was found on the victim's boots, obviously love a tea it. treader. Absolutely love it. And then, of course, the last piece of evidence. There's yes, another, there's there's another there's little a story. story there. But there's also another story I'll tell you about when we get to the end of it. The adventure of the retired colourman. It's mm -hmm. another one of the the famous stories. As you see, the 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 the, the pages repeat, but. The cards are different. This is the Red Headed yeah. League. Well, the Red Handed League, as I called yeah. it earlier. Hound of the Baskervilles, who, when, where, and why. Which mm -hmm. is a lot of work has actually gone into all this lot. Right. <laughs> Evidence. This is a material sample. It's if, a fabric sample. It is. If you've been watching Mike for a long time, you'll remember in the old house we had a very large lem. We called it the Lemsip chair. It used to be the chair where I, when I first started doing YouTube videos. I used to sit and be working or filming and then Bentley would run up behind me and jump on the chair that was behind yes, me he did. and stand up on the chair arm and look out the window. The chair was so big two of us could sit in it but unfortunately we had the new doors put on and we had to cut the chair in half to get it out. But before we actually got rid of the chair we kept some of the I cut all the fabric material. off. So this is actually a piece of the fabric taken from that chair way back in the day. Oh yeah. Bentley's favourite chair. Chair, yes it is. We'll come back through. We have the suspects. I love what you've done with the typewriter there with the piece of paper. The paper coming, coming out, out of it. Again it's got lines on for writing. Yeah. A bit bright. Can you can see it on the uh I hope so. On the video <laughs> screen. The, 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 uh, Our monitor's a bit bright at the it moment. It is. No the uh, the screen is fine. Of course the last suspect is Colonel Mustard. Mm-hmm. That goes into there, as we keep going. It's not the last suspect. No, it's not the last suspect, is it? No. no. And of course, weapon type, we have to have the poison, don't Bottle we? Bottle of poison. Yep. Again, that's got the lines on the back for journaling on. Yep. Okay, so this one, this is actually a piece of ephemera that I've created. It's the Bow Street Police Station urgent message form. So this is like a telegram sheet. What it? the boys would write on on the front desk. Well, they'd cut it out, wouldn't they, and stick it yeah, on? Yeah, they would, yeah. So that's all vintage as well. So you could actually have some fun with that, with like a label maker. You or could. Or you could print it out and cut it into strips and stick yeah, it on you if could. you wanted to. That'd, you be real, that'd be cool. Let me come through. This is the third signature now. We've only been through two, so three so far. Mm -hmm. Fourth. So the adventure of the Silver Blaze. Again, another card to write on. There are so many cards. Oh, 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 Reverend Green. Yes. Baddie. <laughs> 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 Sus tell anyone. That suspects information there. I like the thumbprint you've got on that one. Uh, evidence bag. Yeah, with the murder weapon tag in it with a little piece of 
again for Strain. keeping notes and Indeed. tabs on your neighbours. Then we have the the fingerprint, the fingerprints they've collected. Finger marks. Finger marks. That's as in column they, prints, didn't not, they? Not back then. No, they were finger marks. Back finger then. marks. Yes. And then we have the, the rope. rope, and that's including information. Mm -hmm. The resident patient, which was another one of the stories. Yes. Along with the murder mystery pocket there. Another one with the gun on this time. And then we're in the last, the last signature now. The Adventures of the Crooked Man. That's got the pipe on the front. It's got the it? pipe on the front, yeah. We have a thumbprint that's been caught at the evidence scene. At the scene, rather. There's evidence. So evidence-wise, you've got a fingerprint, you've got blood sample, Soil sample, sample, fabric sample, sample and some f and the thumb mark. And the fabric. Yeah, and the fabric, yeah. So there's five different there's five. Of evidence. There's five types. evidence, five murder weapons, and five suspects. five suspects. One in each of the signatures. Of each. Of each, yeah. So each signature has its, oh, its own own cards in it. When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. And what's he doing there? He's doing like a little it's experiment. Little experiment on his really desk, blowing the house up as usual. I swear that looks like Basil Rathbone on there. It possibly it's is. It's got the nose. Then we have the last murder weapon, which is the knife. Again, you can journal on the back of. Can't have a good murder without a decent kitchen knife. Oh no. And then we come towards the end. Miss Scarlet, who's in the last one. I love the fact that you've included these characters. And then at the end here we have this, there's another one, but this is from the Central Police Office, Two Great Horburn Crescent, Westminster. You've actually got ones from lots of different police stations. Oh, I have, yeah. London, haven't you? Right, at the back you've got the, the Vern Industries studio. The Maker's Mark. The Maker's Mark. In the back cover you have the Westminster Coroner's Office. And there is your Coroner's Office again. Another journey one, and again another, another map. map. But what I have done in the others, now we'll do in this, I'll just open one of the others and show you. I'll put that back in there. There we go, excuse me. Just close that up. Right, come there, put that there. In these, I'll go to the back, each one of the coroner's office, somebody's got dirty fingers and left a fingerprint. <laughs> That's actually my index finger is it your index finger it's that one the bird finger the bird finger yes <laughs> yes it is yeah it is you can see the spirals on it i thought you did your thumb no <laughs> as i say they're all very much the same they all have the same i mean look at that i know it's crackers i, I like the fact that you've used parchment paper throughout rather than actual tea dye or coffee dye yeah because you still get the same wrinkly effect but because you've got that aged kind of parchmenty feel mm. it's not too dark for writing on it's still got that nice kind of creaminess for the pages so, for writing on. are you ready each one of the journals has in it two maps of london in it yeah two message sheets from two the coroners police... two coroners reports no. two coroners reports two message sheets from two police stations yes it has five suspects mm -hmm. sheets uh yeah, five suspects, five murder weapons, and five pieces of evidence. Plus you've got different tags. Plus you've got tags, you've got little cards to write on. You have got so much in these. Mm, absolutely. While we're on to what there is, do you want to just grab me the printout? Right, okay. So we, so we have the, th there's the three books here. They'll be going on the website now. Well, so they're on the website now. They're so on the website if now. If you're watching this, they're on the website. That's if they've not already sold out. If they've already sold out, <laughs> drop me an email. If you'd like one making, I can make you one. But I am limiting these to just what I've made here and maybe one more. So Ooh, right, okay. get yourselves in quickly. <laughs> okay, so. So chocolate brown, tan, and diplomatic red. Diplomatic red. red. Right, what well, I want to share with you as well, because I know you all like to craft along with us, I have a sheet of, of ephemera, or sheets of ephemera. Sheets of ephemera. What I'm going to do, I'll show you the sheets now, and then next Tuesday, for Steampunk Tuesday, we'll make a little book together. Like we did last like time we did last Steampunk time. one. But this will give you plenty of time to get it printed out, get it cut out, and get you ready to craft along with me. Yes. And so you. this one is also on the website now, yep. but you'll actually be showing people what you can do with it, how to put it together, make the cards next Tuesday. Next, next Tuesday, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we have... 
Four corners in there, similar to what I've used in the journal. The tuck spot corners. Tuck spots. Little small stickers that go on the very narrow envelopes that Mike has on his website. Yeah, but they will fit small envelopes. All oh, those fit envelopes, but if you get tiny envelopes from wherever you, mm. you get your craft stash from. Four more there. So you've got plenty of corners and plenty of little stickers. Yes. You have the, the cards. You, you don't have to put those in envelopes. You can just no. make little cards well, out you could, of them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, yes. little journaling yes, cards. Could. Yes, you could. Mm -hmm. And we have the cards. What you do is cut them out and then just fold them in half down the white line. Yeah, so glue and fold. Yeah, glue and fold. So you've got plenty of those as well. Oh, they're all different. I wanted to make sure you got as many as possible. Well, these are the ones, these are the book ones that are in the journal. These are the ones that are in the journal they? itself, yeah. So then and again, you... these are put onto sheets so that if you're in the States and use 8.5 by 11, they'll fit. If you're here in the UK, it fits on A4, yeah. A4, yeah. Imperial, it'll go straight on. So you've anyway. got a tag, you've got a tall murder suspect mm -hmm. card. Again, crease down the centres, fold in half and glue. Yeah, or tape. Yeah. On here you'll have, you've, in the set here, you've got three suspects, three murder weapons, and three pieces of evidence. Cool. Because obviously you can't supply the tea bags no. or the fabric samples. No, no. And I uh, want to keep some stuff just for the journals, obviously. Yeah. Exclusive. Exclusive. But say, just cut them out, bit of glue on them. Yeah, I mean, you could put your own glossy accents on there to oh, make yeah. it shiny if you want to. Um, you can always just put some, um, a sheet of acetate over if yeah. you want to, or some of that. Yeah. Sticky back plastic, clear plastic. Stuff, yeah. yeah, or laminated. Yes, indeed. So there's some more evidence. This is one I've put on because when we make the book next week, I'm going to use that as the front page. But we'll okay. we'll, we'll come to that later. And then the so are, you, are you going to make like an, an accompanying um, like notebook? I might do a little little mini accompanying yeah, I think so. book. I think so. Yeah. And then we have the map of London. This is just printed out on ordinary copy of paper, but you print it out on whatever you fancy. Yeah. Or distress the life out of it. Or just, well, well, that goes without saying. So how many pages? Twelve. There's twelve pages of the greatest detective, Sherlock Holmesy kind of themed yeah. um, ephemera for you to make to your, make own, your journals own journals. With. Or scrapbook pages, or memory books, or lap books, or whatever you want to do. Yeah. Cool. And we'll do that next week. So get it cut out, get yourself ready, get yourself sat down with a coffee and a and a lovely jammy dodger or a hobnob or... I did make myself a coffee. What you did? That's there. there. Behind me. Tish, typical. No, it was not cold. It's still no. red hot. So that is my offering for today. The Greatest Detective. As I say, I've had so much fun making these. And it is, it is kind of steampunk. Oh, it is. Well, it's Victorian. It's Victorian, so it does fall within that steampunk aesthetic. I love these. They are so involved. Um... And I, I hope you've enjoyed it. As much as you've enjoyed putting them together. Well, yes. Even more so, in fact. Yes. So don't forget, the journals themselves are on Ian's website, which, which we'll put the, the website address on the screen now, but there's also a clickable link in the description area below the video. There is. But because Ian can't do digital downloads... The digital download is on Mike's site. Then that's on my website which you all know the link to because the permanent one at the bottom of all my videos so you just look under the section handmade journals in the emporium yes on your website on my website and if you feel the need click and purchase <laughs> don't forget there is only three there is only three but if they do all go and you get in touch with me quick enough i will make one more but that's it so it's first come first first served. come first served i'm afraid <laughs> So I think that's it for me from today. Thank you for watching Steampunk Tuesday. If you haven't subscribed, please click the link at the end of this video to subscribe. Yes. Recommend this video to your friends and family and anybody you may know. <laughs> you get A stranger in, there. in the street. You, you get in there. <laughs> but most of all, stay safe, enjoy yourselves, and think crafting is keeping us all sane. At the moment, it's keeping everybody sane, I think. Can I just add? Yes. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share the video with all your friends. Yes, because if you don't, we know where you live. <laughs> Sherlock will find you. Sherlock will find you indeed. Elementary. <laughs> That's all for now. Bye.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.